Hello, today we're going to talk about creating 3D cell references. Another term for that is sphere references. This is kind of a vocabulary thing. So really this is related to the subject of managing a workbook as opposed to a worksheet. So I just want to show you what I'm working with here. So I've got this summary sheet. This is going to represent the grand total for sales, the grand total for marketing, grand total for advertising. So the grand total, uh, those values are going to come from these sheets. So here's quarter four, quarter three, quarter two, quarter one. Now the thing that you need to notice is that sales is in B3 of each sheet. They have a similar layout. The summary sheet isn't similar in terms of layout, but that's okay. So basically what we want to do is we want to create a sum formula here with references to the other sheets. Now the first thing I'll do is I'll show you the brute force approach and then I'll show you kind of a trick which is a 3D reference. So basically what I want to do is I want to create references to other sheets in this workbook. Uh, I want to do a sum function, well, actually, so let's just not do the sum, let's just write basically what I want which is equals. I want to, and order doesn't matter here, and so I want to point to a particular sheet. So I go quarter one, sales. So if you notice the format up here, basically that says I want to point to cell B3 in sheet Q1 plus B3 from Q2 plus, right, and you can kind of see what I'm doing here. It's, it's, and that's why I use the term brute force approach. It's, oh, it didn't take a long time, maybe 15 seconds or so. You could imagine if you had 12 sheets, it'd take longer. That's a pretty ugly looking formula right there. You can kind of see the syntax there. So the name of the sheet is in quotes and then an exclamation mark and then the name of the cell and then plus. And so that's a perfectly reasonable way of doing it. But if you wanted to save yourself a little bit of time and realize that, hey, what I really want to do is add a B3 on all of these sheets. So exercising a bit of foresight, we could do that like this. And you know, at the point where you're adding up more than two numbers, we should probably use a sum function, which just helps us out, right? So I'm doing a sum function so what I'm going to do is I'm going to head to the first sheet in the range and I'm going to head over here and I want that cell right there, B3. At this point it looks pretty much the same and I'm going to hold down shift and then I'm going to click on the last cell or sorry the last sheet in the range that I want. Uh, have a note, look at that right now and then I'm going to click on this and you're going to see what happens and you can see a pretty subtle change so this also kind of makes sense if you understood what I was doing on the previous method. So it says in sheets Q1 through Q4, I want B3, right? So that's just as, as opposed to creating the four separate references. When I'm done, I press enter and I get the same value that I had before. And so I just want to also show you that this is fill handle friendly. So this thing right here, if I take this and I fill it down, that is in fact the sum of the marketing and the sum of the advertising. And you can kind of see what happens. So that's a 3D reference. Another word for it is spearing. The idea being that if this was a physical stack of papers and I were to stick something through uh, B3, it would stick through the same relative cell on each sheet. So you could live your life without 3D references or spear references, but when it's appropriate, it can save you a little bit of time. Now I could do the rest of these. Uh, well, I guess I'll do one more. You can see it's not super fill handle friendly because they're different functions, but let's say I wanted to do the average, for example. I would head up in here, select average, head over to sheet one, which is quarter one, point at the thing I want to point at, hold down shift, click on the end of the range, press enter, and there's my average. And as I showed you before, it is in fact fill handle friendly. So that's 3D references, one of the finer points of Excel. It's a nice trick to have at your disposal when you need it, which would be in a situation like this where I'm managing a collection of worksheets with uh, the exact same layout on every sheet. That's 3D references. Thanks for watching.